Morning, Deerbrook High School. Today is Wednesday, February 21st. I'm Pamela Sanchez. Today, how the digital gap affects high school students and what Deer Park ISD is doing to close it. And the latest on the basketball team's first playoff win in nine years. But first, your weekly news. For students taking AP tests, registration begins today in the cafeteria during all lunches. You can also register through the end of this week or Wednesday through Friday of next week. Grant applications for AP tests are available in the assistant principal's office but are due by this Friday. Late applications will not be accepted. Seniors, Herf Jones is here on campus to take graduation and cap and gown orders today until 7 p.m. Be sure to order your graduation items for the class of 2018. This weekend, the Deer Park Swing Choir is competing in the International Championship of High School Acapella. The event is right here in Deer Park on Saturday in the PAC. Tickets are $15 and it begins at 7 p.m. Come out and support a swing choir and see a real life pitch perfect. For students today, the internet is a vital tool used in our education. But what about those students who don't have access to the internet? Are they at a disadvantage? Dean Slusher and Brandon Stafford report. With an increasing dependency on internet access in the education system, it gives students more ability than ever to complete assignments and broaden the window for success in an evolving world. Believe students with little to no internet access at a distinct disadvantage while they try to keep up. Well, because of the volume of information that students are expected to know or to learn in the short amount of instructional time, teachers are expecting students to uh, acquire information or complete assignments outside of class. So if the internet is vital for that learning experience to happen, and there uh, many times students are accessing like Khan Academy or the YouTube to get tutoring, to access videos, to, to learn a little bit more more to get further instruction, or some of our teachers are flipping their classrooms and uh, videotaping their lessons so that students can access it for additional tutorials or to go back and listen to that lesson again to um, just gain further understanding. So the internet is vital. The internet shows itself to be crucial in the modern academic experience and shows no sign of decreasing in importance. With this in mind, what is Deer Park ISD doing in order to ensure that students have the opportunity to access the internet at home? We're doing a couple of things. We are trying to provide a device, a standard device for students. Right now, in grades six through eight, they have an iPad. And some of our students right now in, at Walters and Avid have a MacBook. But uh, in addition to that, we're providing uh, MiFi and it's internet access that you can check out at the library. We're doing that in our sixth through ninth grade campuses. The next year we'll provide it at South Campus. An increased presence in technology in the classroom seems to be inevitable. And teachers and students will have to learn how to use the internet effectively in order to get the most out of education online. Yeah, what we're seeing at our other campuses, and I, th I think we're seeing a little bit at South, I hope so, is that teachers are sending out remind, reminding students to turn in the assignments or dates that are coming up. We're also seeing a lot of our teachers are utilizing Canvas, which is our learning management system, to remind them of upcoming dates. Students are able to upload assignments, and therefore it's kind of an organization tool, so there's a greater accountability but also the teachers can see where they are, keep them on track. So the internet is serving as a learning tool for them and an organization tool. Thanks guys. Now for the latest in sports, we turn to Victoria Briggs. The Lady Deer soccer team played against Pasadena Memorial Monday night here at home. Marissa Wheeler got the girls on the board first with a beautiful goal from 36 yards out. Later, Julia Suarez taps it in from the point blank to put the girls up 2-0. In the second half, Emily Sample scored the final goal of the night, and our girls won 3-0. They play again this Friday night against Beaumont Westbrook away. Good luck, ladies. The boys' soccer team plays tonight against Pasadena Memorial at Pasadena Veterans Field. They're back at home Saturday against Westbrook. Good luck, guys. In basketball, the boys played their first playoff game Monday night against Goose Creek Memorial. It was a tight game the whole way through with the deer trailing early. But in the end, they came back and won 74 to 65 behind massive 20 point efforts from Zach Walker and Tristan Ikpe. The boys advanced to play Pearland Dawson this Friday at South Houston High School at 7 p.m. Congratulations to her guys and good luck on Friday. 
In other news, after the tragic school shooting in Parkland, Florida one week ago, teenagers there are speaking up to demand lawmakers act to end gun violence. Other teens joined in Washington this week, demonstrating in front of the White House for stricter gun laws. Meanwhile, just hours after the shooting, suspected Russian bots on social media jumped on the gun control debate according to the New York Times. In a deliberate misinformation campaign, these bots tried to stir the pot on both sides of the argument to create division amongst us here in America. This is a good reminder that not everything you see on social media is true. Be careful to educate yourselves with trusted facts, whatever the issue. The Florida shooting has also made an impact in other schools across the nation, including here in Deer Park. Friends, making threats against other children or school is never a joking matter and has serious consequences, as several have found out this week. Deer Park has been ranked one of the safest school districts in the Houston area, and we all wanted to stay that way. Remember to report any suspicious behavior on our campus or in your community. You can tell a teacher, use the anonymous alert system on the school website, or call Crime Stoppers. If you see something or know something, please say something. Now before we go, on a lighter note, Deer Park High School's first ever short film phenomena has advanced to state in the UIL short film contest. The film was created by the Deer Network's very own Carlos Navarez, Alan Garcia, and Destiny Hernandez. Juniors Lenny Gullett, Nick Trevino, and sophomore Gavin Connor star as journalism students who break into the school late at night to investigate reports of paranormal activity inside and find more than they expected. They are one of the six finalists in their category in Texas. The team will travel to Austin next Wednesday to see the winner crowned. Congratulations and good luck to all those involved. That's it for us this week. For all of us here at the Deer Network, I'm Pamela Sanchez. Hoping you will have a great day and a wonderful rest of the week. And go Deer! Woo!